a missile launcher fires warheads from a side at ground level. The height in meters of the warhead above the ground ground level x seconds after it is fired is given by this equation y is equal to 150x minus x squared. So we want to answer these three questions. Write down the expression of dy by dx. What are the coordinates of the maximum point of the curve given by this equation? And uh, use calculus to find the maximum point and use this information to answer. What information does the answer in B give about the missile? So let's first understand this graphically. So first, the equation of the of the path or the height of the missile above the ground is given by this equation where y is the height of the missile above the ground. So the height above the ground level is given by this equation which is 150x 150 150x 150 minus x squared. So let's use our graphical knowledge to first graph this to have a graphical sense. So here this is a quadratic equation so this is so uh, y is equal to suppose let me factorize this so this is x times 150 minus x okay 150 minus x so yeah you have learned this in quadratic equation okay so you those who have learned maths a little should have learned quadratic equation so yeah we can understand the x intercepts are when your y is zero so by just looking at this i can say that x intercepts are zero and 150 yeah so this is 150 and the graph the graph would look somewhat like this it's a parabola so it'll be going and from your graphical understanding you know the vertex would be this is 75 will come from this first one a graphic calculator and this is some point i don't know okay so by just looking at the x intercepts so x intercept is when y is equal to 0. So let's first graph this. Okay. So yeah, go to graph and uh, type in this equation. The equation was 150x minus x squared. So 150x minus x squared. Now I need the, I know the value. Uh, the, x, x, the x value has to be between 0 and 150. So I'll go G, uh, shift F3. I'll go from 0 to 160. Let me go up to 160. Scale of 10. Okay. And on y-axis, I don't know how the how much height it would be. So I'll go 0 to, say, 200. Let me just pick a number. Scale of 20 and then draw the graph. Oh, the graph is... Uh, am I doing something wrong here? Okay. First, let me... Let, again, suppose if this is a problem, go to table menu and go to set... I'll go from 0 to 150, okay, at a step of 5, a step of 10. Let me go at a step of 10 and see what are the y values. Go to table, oops, I have to scroll this. So, yeah, so the scale was too small. Can you see? It's 1,400, 3,600. So, it is 5,400, okay, so you need a bigger scale. So you can see, I'll go, I'll change the scale, go to graph. I'll change it to my y scaled up to 6,000. 6, so let me, so G, execute. Uh, and 160 is fine. I'll have to go up to 6,000. Uh, scale of 500 and see how the graph looks like. So this is your graph. So this does make sense. So we can find the answer. Of course, let's find the answer and then we'll use calculus. So G sol and maximum. So it's 5,625. We already know the answer. So it is 75,5625. So this point is 75,5625. So this is what you have learned in uh, using uh, your graphical method or using graphs. Okay. Your skill of graphs. Now we're going to use that's a different skill of finding this point. So for first question is find dy by dx. So let me write the equation y is equal to 150x minus x squared. There's nothing wrong in doing this, but as it is said that you have to do this and also find the coordinate of maximum using calculus, we have to use this skill of using calculus. So this is dy by dx 
is yeah, drop the power down and decrease the power by 1. So this is 150 times 1 times, I'll go very slowly so that you understand, 150 times 1 x to the power 0 minus, you drop the power down so that is 2 x to the power 1. Okay, so you can say dy by dx, dy by dx is 150 150 minus 2x because this is 1. x to the power 0 is 1. So 150 minus 2x. Now this is your gradient function. That means this equation tells you the gradient at any point. If we know the x value, you, if you give me the x value, I put the x value here and, and I can find the gradient at that point of x where the x value is given. Okay, so now we know using our common sense or a little bit of uh, maths, we know the gradient at this point. If you draw a tangent at this point, your gradient, which is dy by dx of this tangent, is going to be equal to zero. So we have found the gradient function and we know the gradient is, at this point, it's going to be zero. So we have done question number one or question A. We are use, now using calculus to find the maximum point, which we already know is 75. 5, 6, 2, 5. Okay, so I'm going to set this equal to 0, so this implies 150 minus 2x is equal to 0. Now you can write this is for maximum. For maximum or minimum, the gradient at that point is going to be 0. So you can say 150 is equal to 2x and divide both sides by 2. I hope you understand x is. 175, sorry, 75, One, 150 divided by 2 is 75. So in other words, after 75 seconds, because your x is your time, x seconds, so you can say after 75 seconds, the missile reaches the maximum height of 5,625 meters. Okay, now we want to just find y by putting in back in the equation. So this is 150 times 75, so we know the equation, let me write the equation, equation is 150x minus x squared, minus 75 x squared, so I'll use my calculator, so y is equal to uh, 150x minus 75, so let's go to menu 150 times 75, minus 75 squared, which is 5,625. So, you can say, let's make sense of this question. So, what information does the answer B give you? So, the answer for question C, we can say, the maximum height, the maximum height, the missile reaches, the missile, or the missile, reach is how many is how many meters is 5625 meters is 5625 meters after what is 75 x is 75 x is your time after 75 seconds uh, or 75 seconds after or 75 seconds after the missile was fired. 75 seconds after the missile was fired. So this is applying maths in real life context. After the missile was fired. Fired. Okay, so let's make sense of this question. The missile is fired at time zero. So this is your time. This on the x-axis you have taken time. And this is the height above ground. Height above ground. So when it is at time zero, when it was fired, it is at ground level. Okay? Or almost at ground level. Okay. And then it reaches the maximum height of 5,625 after 75 seconds. And after 150 seconds, it is on the ground. So if the question is, after how many seconds did the fire, uh, did the missile fall on the ground is 150 seconds.